And folks, an old front still stalled across the western part of the valley. West of it, still cloudy and cool. East of it, more sunshine. Temperatures just a little bit warmer. And it took pretty much all day for the sun to come out across parts of the upper valley. So temperatures slower to warm up. Eastern part of the valley, a little more sunshine, so a little bit warmer. Here are your dew points right now, and they have come back up after being way down over the weekend. Anywhere from 64 to 70 across the area. So we'll put 67 as the average. So we're definitely up in the muggy category across the region and likely will be there for the most part the next couple of days. Now tonight, temperatures not going to go much cooler than the upper 60s. Some places will probably stay in the low 70s and fog will thicken up overnight again tonight. Like this morning, it will be dense in some spots. Please give yourself a little extra time tomorrow morning. And then by afternoon tomorrow, we're back to sunshine again. Won't start that way. You wake up to the dense fog, but as the day goes on, that fog burns off. We get back to sunshine, and with that, temperatures go way above normal for this time of year. The norm is 73, and look at this. We go 84, and then a little cooler Wednesday and a little cooler Thursday, but still at or above average the next three days. Now, first one five Doppler network has been quiet today. And just no moisture out there to speak of other than that fog. Overnight tonight, the clouds thicken up again. We see that fog early in the day. It burns off. We're back to sunshine in the afternoon. Other than that, though, a dry day. I say dry with that fog in the morning. It'll be plenty moist, but no rain falling from the sky. Wednesday, I think there are more clouds. Could be a brief shower in a couple of spots on Wednesday. Temperatures just a little bit cooler. Secondary front comes through Thursday morning. Still more clouds, still spotty showers, nothing widespread. Then the front goes back to the north and we warm back up in time for the weekend, the first half of the weekend. Dry tomorrow, 10, then 20 in your percentages of rain the next three days. That old front stalled up in the western part of the valley. You get to Laredo, it's only 59, but 71 in McAllen, 72 in Houston, 63 in Austin. So you see the difference. Front kind of falls apart, but it eventually pushes back through. Not tomorrow, but Wednesday. First surge of cool air comes in. Second surge comes Thursday. The warm air is gone for a couple of days, but again, it builds right back in just in time for Friday and Saturday as that warm front moves eastward. And then another front, strong front, comes through on Sunday. Quick round robin temperatures around the country. I want to show you a couple of readings. Not so much in the northeast, but in the upper Midwest. It is one in Minot, two in Bismarck, three in International Falls. No fours or fives on there right now. Six, seven, Minneapolis and Duluth. There's some cold air on that weather map. Some of that are pushing southward, but that batch going more eastward. That batch not coming to us. So tonight then partly cloudy. Dense fog shows up again late, then tomorrow fog early, but then some afternoon sunshine. Your high of 84, well above normal. Back to 79 Wednesday, a little cooler Thursday, and then we warm right back up to 84 again on Saturday. The next front comes in early Sunday, 68 for a high and falling, hence the F. Temperatures fall from 68 through the 50s by afternoon. That's your updated First 1-5 forecast.